Without warning, a bomb landed on her house. Here was very heavy shelling, a lot of hits. We didn't have time, we took two steps, and the whole house exploded. We were knocked over by the blast wave, we fell down to the ground and everything was burning. She shows us the damage and says she's lucky to be alive. She fears the shelling more than a blast at the nuclear power plant across the river. Because of its proximity to the nuclear site, people who live in this neighborhood are often targeted. The water level has dropped significantly since the Kakovka Dam was destroyed in June. Unlike any other city in Ukraine, Nikopol faces two serious threats. The Saporizhia nuclear plant on the other side, barely nine kilometers away, should there be a direct hit and the nuclear fallout, and also the daily shelling from Russian soldiers who are stationed nearby. Lubova's family depends on income from growing fruits and vegetables in the garden. One of her daughters lives nearby. What are we worrying about? Everything. First of all, they're shooting and firing every day. And secondly, they say they're blowing up everything. And what happened with the Kachovka Dam will happen here too. It's very scary. Another sister, Natalia, lives in West Ukraine, but came home as soon as she heard of the attack. There is a nuclear power plant that is constantly a danger to local people. We've been warned about evacuation and we had some pills, so we know where to go and what to do. But this is all because of the war, the war with Russia. Russia is constantly shelling us, burning one house and then another. More than half the pre-war population of Nikopol have left, but life and business does continue. This steel pipe factory has lost almost a third of its workforce, but still retains 2,000 employees. It's working round the clock, despite all the dangers and the uncertainty of trying to export its oil, gas and water pipes to the rest of the world. We don't have any, any way to supply uh, our goods from uh, around the sea because of uh, Russian troops to blockade this area. And uh, our logistic uh, guys from our company to try to find another way to supply pipe market, European market, American market and Middle East market. Interpipe is a big employer in Nicopol and helps to sustain hundreds of families. Without this work, far more of the city's population would likely move away. Yolo Abdavid, CGTN. Nikopol, Ukraine.